everyone, and thank you all for being here. I know it's towards the end of the day and the end of the conference, so I'll try to keep it as exciting as possible. So as he said, I'm Tara Vanderdusen, and I'm a part of the team at Glorieta Geoscience from Santa Fe, New Mexico. And today I will be, I will be presenting on our software program called CAFOWeb and how we are predicting nutrient application at CAFO land application fields using CAFOWeb. So why CAFOWeb? Why do we need this tool? Well, our team at Glorieta Geoscience designed CAFOWeb to implement CNMPs and predict nutrient application rates and timing. As you all know, nutrients from sources such as manure and green water must be applied at agronomic rates in order to avoid overapplication, because this overapplication can lead to nutrients leaching into the groundwater. With current best management practices, there are no tools for predictive nutrient management. And under current environmental regulations, the CAFO operator finds out at the end of the year if he has overapplied his nutrients when it's too late to make any changes. So the following pictures demonstrate the typical dairy process of water flow on a dairy. So first, the groundwater is pumped from the wells and metered going onto the dairy. From there, it goes to either cow drinking water or to the barn for cooling the milk or cleaning the barn and cows. Leaving the barn, it goes into a sump tank where it is metered again. From there, it is pumped through the separator to separate the solids from the liquids. Those liquids, as we like to call them in New Mexico, the green water, ends up in the lagoon. From the lagoon, they are pumped and metered again, going out onto the field and used to water the crops. CAFOWeb is currently being used at over 11,000 acres of land application fields, and it was developed on a dairy that is being used as the case study in this presentation and is shown here on this slide. Before the dairy had CAFOWeb, the farmer applied green water to fields with no real decision-making process. For example, in 2006, the slide we're looking at, this, the year we're looking at here, he ended up over-applying to the three fields shown in red. So he may have wanted to apply at agronomic rates and apply to his crops correctly, but it just didn't end up happening. So we discussed these results with him, and he vowed to better manage his nutrients the next year. Well, if you watch me flip back and forth between these two, this is 2007, this was 2006. By trying to avoid over-applying to the three fields he had over-applied to the previous year, he ended up over-applying to the opposite four fields. Again, while he may have wanted to make better management decisions again this year, he still ended up over-applying. Without, the, without a management tool, the farmer was randomly applying to fields not looking at the agronomic uptake of crops. This is why our farmers need a nutrient management tool to better manage their nutrients. I'm going to come back to this same dairy again later in the presentation. So just remember these four fields that have been over-applied and just kind of remember this layout of this dairy. Here again is the water flow on that dairy. In that final step from the lagoon to the field, where should that water go? In this case study, there are over 11 fields that the farmer can land apply to. What is the decision-making process he goes through when picking which field to apply to? Why does the farmer apply to one field versus another field? And what are the tools they're using to make these decisions? These are all questions we asked ourselves and ended up with no real definite answer. At this point, it seems to be somewhat a random selection. Maybe it's based on which field is the closest or the easiest to pump to. Or maybe they pump when the lagoon is full rather than when the crops need the nutrients. Farmers need this tool, nutrient management tool, to help them with this decision-making process. CAFOWeb is that one-stop, real-time tool. We beta tested in New Mexico and Nevada at over eight dairies with over two 25,000 cows and over 4,000 acres of land application fields. With Cable Web, you can access your data anywhere you have an internet connection, so from your laptop, tablet, or smartphone, which gives you the ability to be in your field with your smartphone entering your meter readings. Cable Web uses this data to then give you real time, sorry, real time data and that can be used for reports and graphs. 
So this is the dairy sampling and monitoring reporting flowchart, and I'm going to tell you about how Cable Web can be in integrated into this system. Currently, the data is collected from sampling and monitoring and goes into a report that is sent to the dairy farmer. From there, the report is almost impossible to analyze and ends up, where do those reports end up? Probably in a filing cabinet and most of the time never looked at again. Now with Cable Web, there's the sampling and monitoring performed by the dairymen and consultants. Again, it's sent to the lab for analysis and into the report, the lab report that's sent to the dairymen and consultants. From here, this data is now entered into Cable Web. Cable Web turns this data into valuable information by predicting green water and freshwater application and tracking data trends. It gives you real-time graphs and reports. Cable Web's data entry allows you to analyze a number of different things, such as meter discharge volume, or average daily discharge, soil nutrient content, water quality, environmental record compliance record keeping, which includes your weekly inspections, lagoon freeboards, climate, maintenance on the dairy. It also analyzes your water rights and your nutrient management, which is the green water application forecasting. And today we'll only be looking at some of these things. So if you'd like more information at the bottom of the slide, there is a link to a brief demo on our website so you can find out more information. Now I'm going to give, show you a few uh, case studies so you can see the real world applications of Cable Web. In this first case study, we are looking at the average daily discharge report. This report analyzes the green water leaving the barn. The dashed line, I don't have a pointer, so sorry, but the dashed line is the permitted amount of discharge, the permitted amount the dairy is allowed to discharge. On this dairy, Cable Web was implemented in July 2012. So you can see that where it dips down. So before that time, before they started using Cape Web, they were frequently, as you can see, above their permitted discharge amount. Now that the dairyman has Cape Web, he's able to see his data in graphical format and is more aware of his water use. And when there is a problem, and we see those two spikes at the end in October 2012 and February 2013, he knows in real time and was able to fix the problem before it turned into a bigger issue. This next case study looks at the trend analysis for nitrates in soils from a depth of 0 to 12 inches. When using this report, the dairyman was able to see his soil trends for each field at different depths. Knowing this, he avoided over-applying to fields that were already above the recommended standards. And I do have those recommended standards on that table, um, on that graph, in, on the dashed line. So very high being at 50 parts per million, high being at 30 parts per million, moderate at 10 parts per million, and low at 5. So as you can see in 2010 on that flood field, the top one, he was almost at 120 parts per million. And by better managing his nutrients, he was able to bring that number down to closer to 10 parts per million in 2011. By proactively managing his nutrients, the dairyman was able to avoid over-applying and improve his soil health. So as I said earlier, we were going to be coming back to that dairy that we saw the over-applied over flood field, or over-applied fields. So this is that green water forecasting report for that second year, 2007, where there was four fields that had been over-applied to. Um, to give you the layout kind of of this report, the green bars are the nitrogen uptake, the yellow bars are the nitrogen applied, we know the nitrogen applied, that number is based on the test results from the sampling data of the different sources, whether that be green water or manure. Um, as the dairyman continues to apply his green water or manure, that yellow bar will continue to rise, giving you a real-time value of what's going on on your field. The table across the bottom gives you this information in numerical value. So as we saw, the dairyman had over-applied to four fields, the East Flood Field, the Gilligan North, and the BLM East and West. And so on that graph, we see that as the yellow bars being higher than the green bars. Now the dairyman is using Cable Web's green water forecasting report to better manage his nutrients. So the graph we're looking at here is the green, ap green water application and forecasting report for the crop year of 2012. 
The dairyman can use this report to make informed decisions as to which field he should apply his nutrients based on the crop's needs. So this is a much different picture than the one we saw before. Almost none of the fields were overapplied. Only one, the BLM East pivot, was slightly overapplied, and you can see that with the yellow bar only being slightly above the green bar. So he was able to make real differences on his fields using this program. CAFO Web is now on more than 30 CAFOs in multiple states. It is also being used on agricultural farms and at the Select Milk Ultra Filtration Processing Plant. It's also being used at the New Mexico Highland University Golf Course where they're using recycled municipal wastewater. We're also on the Taos Ski Valley Snowmaking Water Rights and on a chili processing plant. So CAFO Web, in conclusion, is that one-stop record-keeping and nutrient management tool. Using this data in real time allows the CAFO operator to make informed decisions. By maintaining the groundwater and the soil health, you are ensuring the value of your property for future generations. And these informed decisions ensure that waste are converted into worth. And for the future of CAFO Web, we hope to continue to monitor the progress of our dairies that are currently using CAFO Web and see how they're improving their groundwater, their water quality, and their soil health. We also hope to expand into other food, food processing plants. And we are already working with the Los Alamos National Laboratories through the New Mexico Small Business Assistance Program to create an integrated comprehensive water rights module. And that's something we plan to do in the future is continue to add modules as they are needed to CAFO Web. We want to promote sustainable nutrient management across all livestock species. And we are also working with NRCS to make Cable Web their CNMP implementation tool, because that's really what we see this product, product as, is an implementation tool for those CNMPs and NMPs. So Cable Web will continue to grow and develop based on the needs of our users. And also one last thing that after this is over, I will be out around, and I do have some brochures if anyone's interested in those. So. We, um, in most of the dairies that uh, are using this program, they sample their lagoon four times a year. And so with that, that we feel like that's as close to real time as we can, we're going to get. And like as far as real time, with this would be your meter readings would be as soon as you take them. And so it's based off of that. So every time that you enter a meter reading into our irrigation section, that's when the yellow bar on that graph will rise. And yes, that's based on sampling that's taken. No, um, actually my family's dairy is not using the green water forecasting. Um, my, my brother is using it more. Yes, there's, um, there's tons of different record keeping, which is you know a huge deal right now in a lot of these different states. Uh, more record keeping is needed, the environmental compliance regulations. And so that's uh, one aspect. And then the reports are honestly endless. The parameters that you can look at and the different fields and so you don't have to necessarily be applying green water to use it. You could be still looking at your soil trends or your average daily discharge, different things like that. Any side dressing after you plant? Um, no. Jay, do you have any response to that, maybe? Mm-hmm. Yes. No, based on what the last one was, because there's definite changes, you know, throughout the year and based on rainfall amounts. So it's based on that last one. <laughs>